Hi, and welcome to Learnest. In this video, I'll walk you through with some of the tips about the thought process of content creation, creating a course, some of the tips about recording the content, and some of the speaking skills tips as well. This whole process and this whole video will be very useful if you're creating the course for the first time and even much more helpful if you're a seasoned uh, course content creator and want to just have some new skills and want to listen to some of the experience that I've gained over the years. So let me walk you through with all the process about uh, creating the course. So first of all, the course creation. I certainly have realized now after creating like over hundreds of courses that creating a course is almost like a book and you want to spend really good amount of time in thinking the thought process. It's not just about hitting that record button and making the videos. The course really need to be thought out well. And one question that I, which I always ask about uh, whenever I create a course is, what will student gain or what will be the outcome of this course? What is the knowledge or one skill that I want my students to have? If I'm creating a course on, uh, let's just say on working out, Will my students will be able to work out on their own if that is the course? If I'm teaching them some of the coding concept, will they able to be able to build their softwares on their own after this course? That's the whole thought process I always keep in mind. Remember, the students are always looking for the value, so make sure you address this as very first. If I'm saying with the course as complete app developer, the students should feel really that they will be able to build an app after watching this course or after buying this course. So this is really an important process. Consider your entire course as just like recording or writing a book. The step one is always to figure out what's going to be the index of this book. And for your course, it's going to be the course outline. Don't just start recording the videos before creating an outline. This outline is going to change as you start recording the videos and that is completely okay. But without having an outline, if you start recording the videos, it's not going to work well. And the next step is once you have done the introduction and module recording, make sure you also take advantage of the test. Students really love to evaluate themselves. Although they don't say it out loud and always oppose the test, but everybody loves to evaluate themselves. To try to give them some assignments or the quizzes in the courses so that they can self-evaluate themselves. This is the most important key that students should be able to evaluate within the course, during the course and after the course as well. So make sure you keep an eye on that and don't try to make it absolutely perfect when you are starting with the course creation. No course is perfect on the day one. Some of the courses that I've created over the years, I have done the revision in them for four or five times. Yes, whole course was recorded four or five times. And it's a journey. It's not like the first course was absolutely bad. At that time, what type of content creator I was, I have improved a lot over that. So you will also do that. So don't hesitate, just start with the course content creation process. And remember, your outline is the most important thing. Once you're done with this, then is the video planning phase. Video recording and video planning is another key step once you're done with the recording process and indexing of your courses. It's not like you can just start the recording button on the camera and you will be able to talk on the camera. This almost certainly never happens. The step one of recording the content is scripting part. What you'll be saying in the camera, what will be the bullet points? You don't need to memorize anything. If you can memorize, that's always great. But if you cannot memorize, at least have bullet points so that you can keep yourself in a single direction that these are all the points that I'll be talking and this is what I really want to deliver. It is very common that some people take the tangent and just go in completely different direction from the video. It happens. It happens to everyone even happens to me till this date. But the best way to keep yourself organized is some kind of presentation or at least keep those bullet points with you on some paper. And it's totally okay to see in the paper that this is the topic I want to talk next. Scripting is the most important part. Once you have done the scripting for a couple of videos or at least one video, then go ahead and start recording. And remember, you always have the editing option. Things that you have fumbled out or you have sneezed or you have coughed, this all can be taken out. You don't need to re-record videos just because this thing happened. This is a normal human thing and happens. Sometimes your phone rings, sometimes somebody calls you out. It's okay, it's okay. We can edit them out in the editing phase. And there are great editing softwares available for free and paid, both of them are available. So you can go ahead and handle that in the editing phase. And the next step is iterate. The more you're going to record the videos, the better you're going to be there. It took me probably over 1,000 videos and probably more than that to at least figure out that, yeah, I can record videos and I feel good about it. It will happen to you as well. Remember, iteration is the key. So go ahead and try to iterate as much as possible. 
The next step is a shooting process. Now shooting process vera varies very differently for each one of us. Some of us want to record very professional videos, want to have a camera and mic and all these things. Some of us don't really want that. Some of us want to just want to teach it, say our what we want to say or just want to share the screen with us. So figure out what you really want to do. If you want to do all camera gears and stuff, try to do a setup like that. What I recommend to most content creator is you can just figure out and do the things on the screen. Majority of the people who are teaching something would love to do that. So if you want to go with the camera, try to have that setup and try to not move that setup much. The more stable setup it is, the faster you can record the videos. Another thing is screen capturing software. They are the best. And again, some of the names that I've already mentioned in the previous videos are uh, ScreenFlow for the Mac or Camtasia, which is available for Mac and Windows both. If you want to just go and try out the things, Loom is also a great alternative. Or you can just download OBS, which is a free open broadcast software, which will help you to record the softwares. You probably need to watch a couple of YouTube videos to do how, this, how to do the setup of OBS, but it works nicely. You can have your webcam, plug in your microphone and just start recording it. You can record yourself just like this, or you can just have the screen just like what we are doing right now. All of this is being recorded on OBS. Yeah, that's what we are using for this video as well. And take help from YouTube. Don't go into the rabbit hole of the video creation or mastering the art of video, but at least go ahead and watch some of the videos about setting up the OBS, basic setups, and how can I record the videos. They are always helpful and you can use them. The most important part is record as many videos as possible. This is going to help you to iterate over the things and creation of the process. Just figure out. My recommendation is go with the screen capture software. They actually work really nice. The next thing is speaking tips. A lot of people are very hesitant in recording the videos. They fumble a lot. They sometimes speak don't loudly, don't speak loudly, and a whole lot of things can go wrong. This is okay. This is normal. Not everyone is a born speaker. We learn here. We learn on the go. The more you're going to record, the better you're going to be there. And again, try to watch some of the great TEDx talks on speaking tips. They are really great. There are even books to help you in gaining confidence in learning. Just like you can teach anything, you can learn anything as well. And speaking is no exceptional skill. You can learn that as well. It is going to require practice. But yeah, I do agree. Those old tips about, hey, you should talk in front of a mirror, that doesn't work. That doesn't really work. There are great books about speaking tips. There are great talks on the TEDx. And the best part is record. You can record yourself a lot, can see that. And nobody loves their own voice in the first go. That's the one number one tip. You will not like yourself on the camera. You will not like your voice that is being recorded, but that's okay. It takes probably 400, 500 videos to start accepting your voice, not liking it. So it's okay. And again, some of the things I can recommend is practice. You have the camera, you have the phone camera, record yourself. And first 100 videos are not going to be that great, but eventually you will be there. The most important part is engage with the audience. This is the toughest part. You are speaking just in a lens and assuming that this is my audience, nobody will nod their hand or nod their head. It is okay, but engage. Ask them questions. Although there is nobody to answer it, but anyways, ask them. And smile on the camera, that always never hurts. Smiling has never hurted anybody, especially in the content creation. Engage, that is the most important. Everybody has their own way of engaging with the people by asking questions, by giving them assignments, uh, anything could be there. So go ahead and engage. The last rule is confidence. Here's a small tip. Everybody is here to listen to you. Whatever you are saying, that is what they are here to listen to you. So stay confident. People came to listen to you. You are hesitant about the stuff that you are going to say, but nobody knows that. That's the secret. So go ahead and keep that confidence high, and I'm pretty sure you are absolutely going to rock in the content creation journey and teaching the next topic that you really want to teach to all the world. That's it for this video. Hope you have enjoyed this, and I am pretty sure that this content helped you in learning something and made your content creation journey a tiny bit easier. For more, go ahead and check out other, other videos that we are having here, and I'm pretty sure you're going to have take a lot of help from that. That's it, and let's catch up in another such video.